Hated or loved, there's an undeniable impact that G-Dragon left on K-pop. But do you know how much he really did for the music? Let's look through all the moments when G-Dragon changed the K-pop game for good. The first ever light stick. It's hard to imagine a K-pop concert without the sea of light sticks in the crowd. With unique colors and designs unique to each group, it's a must-have for the fans. But did you know that Big Bang started this trend all the way back in 2006? The Big Bang light stick was designed by G-Dragon himself and later got named the Bang Bong. G-Dragon said that the reason for making the light stick is that he wanted the VIPs to stand out from the crowd. The fact that it was designed by a member and had a special shape of a crown made it truly stand out compared to the merch of all the other groups. The original Bang Bong is also the first light stick ever mass produced by YG Entertainment, making it the pioneer for all the other light sticks that we know now. Solo doesn't mean disband. When a K-pop band is on the top and drawing in all the attention, making a solo debut always seems like a red flag. The public will take it as the beginning of the end, with the end result being the disbanding. It's a method that's been tested time and time again, both in the West and in K-pop, of course, until G-Dragon came along with his solo debut. Two years after Big Bang broke the roof with their single Lies, G-Dragon decided to make his solo debut with the single and album called Heartbreaker in August of 2009. This album became a hit and secured him the Artist of the Year win at the 2009 Mnet Asian Music Awards. Back then, it was actually the biggest male artist debut of all time. Later, all his groupmates followed with the solo releases, which made people worry if this was really it for the group. However, Big Bang came back stronger and better with the 2011 Tonight, which secured them the number one spot on the Gaon album chart. The group rose even higher, releasing timeless bangers like Fantastic Baby and Bang Bang Bang. G-Dragon is living proof that despite debuting solo and making waves as a solo artist, your group can still continue to thrive. Unmatched Lyricist Entertainment companies didn't always have the best name when it came to treating their artists, especially when it came to giving them creative freedom. In the past, K-pop idols had concepts and songs lined up and ready to go with zero personal touches from the idols themselves. That's why, till Big Bang, K-pop groups and idols got called manufactured more than anything else. However, this all changed when G-Dragon joined the game. The release of Big Bang's album Always in 2007 meant a big shift not only in Big Bang's career, but also in the K-pop industry. G-Dragon was involved in making this album, writing the lyrics, and composing the music for the title track Lies. It was actually the first time that a K-pop idol was ever involved in writing and producing their own music. Ever since then, G-Dragon became more and more involved in writing and producing, both on Big Bang tracks and on his solo stuff as well. Big Bang was the definition of self-produced, with every song being credited to at least one member. He was named a genius singer-songwriter by the Korea Times, and the magazine Spin described his song as daring by K-pop standards, wildly innovative by any standard. When asked about his writing process, he said, I have this disease-like need to try to create something new. When you're kind of being chased and everything you do goes well, you develop this sickness and a sense of need to constantly do something different. G-Dragon's work gets praised even a decade and a half later, both by critics and by fellow K-pop idols. G-Dragon wasn't only recognized for his incredible craft, but also started a whole wave of future idols that wanted to become more involved while making their own music. Companies were also giving their artists a bit of creative freedom after seeing the success of G-Dragon and his self-made songs. True Trendsetter Be it hair trends or fashion trends of today's K-pop idols, there's a big chance that it all started because of G-Dragon. Changing hairstyles and hair colors wasn't really a thing until G-Dragon decided to change up the styling of his hair to match the concept that he was promoting at the time. And it wasn't just traditional everyday hair colors. No, G-Dragon wasn't shying away from wild neons and soft pastels and therefore changing K-pop forever. There aren't many people who could pull off the entire color wheel on their head, but he makes it work. One of his most iconic looks must be the two-toned orange to red hair in the Fantastic Baby music video that had everyone shocked. G-Dragon isn't lacking in the fashion department either, with his looks influencing both the whole K-pop scene and South Korean teens as well. Throughout the years in the spotlight, it seems like he's pulled off every single outfit he ever wore. G-Dragon never shied away from even more androgynous looks, not really caring about such things as masculine or feminine styles. When he collaborated on designing a unisex shoe collection, he said, It's not just girls or women who get excited and worked up over pretty shoes. I think guys can feel that way too. At the 2017 Chanel fashion show, he was seen wearing a black jumper that was designed for the women's collection, however, his daring outfit was praised by nearly everyone. In October of 2016, he launched his own high-end fashion brand called Peace Minus One, which was full of unusual pieces of clothing, such as beanies with long straps. G-Dragon shared his fashion mantra in the dazed interview saying, There are times even I am a bit embarrassed by my look. Don't be afraid. There is no right answer in fashion. His eye for fashion and need for self-expression could be seen even in his everyday outfits with little altercations that make them one of a kind. 
behind. When asked where his love for fashion comes from, G-Dragon explained that he started out as a child actor, with his mom being his personal stylist back then. According to him, he looked pretty stylish. G-Dragon is known for always looking good no matter what, looking stunning even at the airport. Ever since his airport look started gathering attention, the concept of airport fashion spread through the K-pop scene like a wildfire. Even though the nickname Trendsetter gets thrown around a lot these days, G-Dragon is truly deserving of it like no other. Idol of Idols G-Dragon's impact is simply undeniable, a voice and a personality that stole the hearts of millions of South Koreans, including the hearts of other K-pop idols. Many beloved names in the industry voiced their appreciation for G-Dragon. Idols like Jungkook, Bam Bam, Escoops, and Jay Park have all voiced their appreciation for either G-Dragon or Big Bang as a whole. The singer IU liked G-Dragon for a long time, revealing, I've always been G-Dragon's fan and wanted to work with him someday. Her dream came true when their collab happened on her hit song, Palette. G-Dragon was also generous enough that he sent IU a copy of her Palette album with the design and drawings he did himself. Even though G-Dragon might not be in his prime days anymore, his legacy lives on through all the artists he inspired in the first place. Mini Album Series G-Dragon, along with Big Bang, changed the traditional ways of each album being a standalone piece. In 2015, after a three-year hiatus caused by enlistment, they changed the game by releasing the album Made. In four installments, M, A, D, and E, it spread from May to August. Each mini album had two songs and eventually created an eight-song album. The letter A had the song Bang Bang Bang, which later won the Song of the Year on the 17th Mnet Asian Music Awards. Back in the day, YG Entertainment got criticized for doing EPs, as they were considered a cash grab from the fans. However, when everyone saw how well the mini albums did on the charts, it's like everyone suddenly hopped on the mini album trend. So the next time you see any kind of mini albums or EPs being tied together into one big project, you're gonna know that it was Big Bang who thought of it first. Collabs on a new scale. Collaborating with other artists is obviously nothing new, but it was G-Dragon who did the first collaboration of a K-pop idol with a Western artist. Back in 2009, G-Dragon revolutionized collabing by inviting Flo Rida to be on the remixed version of G-Dragon's song Heartbreaker. Flo Rida agreed and a bop was born. These two even performed the song together at a concert in 2010. The wildest thing is that this collab was preceded by a drama where Sony Music accused G-Dragon of plagiarizing Flo Rida's song Right Round. All the plagiarization was denied both by Flo Rida's people and G-Dragon's as well, however, the damage was done. So instead of having some weird tension in the press, G-Dragon and Flo Rida decided to collab together. Honestly, what a way to turn the situation around. In 2013, he collabed with another Western megastar, Missy Elliott, on the song Neliria. He revealed in a special interview how the collab happened. Because it's a track that has the motive of using a Korean folk song, I wasn't looking for a popular artist of today, but more of the past, and a female more than a male. In the middle of all that, because I was Missy Elliott's fan, I hesitantly asked if she could work with me. To G-Dragon's surprise, she agreed. What made this collab even more special is that despite Missy Elliott not living in the spotlight anymore, she performed Illyria with G-Dragon at the 2013 KCON LA, creating a performance for the K-pop books. Are you a fan of G-Dragon? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Bye!